Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make long pencil without stretching beginning or end and it works automatically so you can move it and it still doesn't stretch and you can also make it bigger or smaller. So it works like this, you take your pencil, then you clone it and split it into three parts, then convert it to the markers and then you duplicate it on your path. So let me create my pencil first. Okay, so now this is my pencil and I'm going to clone it first and move it down. Now I'm going to clip it by creating a rectangle and let me choose some color so we can know what we are doing and clip just start of, of this and select both of the objects and go right click and go to set clip now i'm going to copy and paste it then i'm going to switch the tool enable these two options so i can see my rectangle and i'm going to move i'm going to move this rectangle just so it's in the middle part and i'm going to do this again select the object ctrl c ctrl e and change the clipping to have just end of my object so something like this so now you can see that if i move it together it's going to be one pencil right now i'm going to clone it again and convert it to the markers select their object and go to object object to marker I'm cloning it this way so all of this is linked and if I change my mind later so for example I want to change this color to be the same or any other change for example changing shape of this this is still linked together and it should be adjustable now I'm going to create my path which this pencil is going to be put on so let's do that Okay, I can turn off the fill color and also the stroke color and now I'm going to put markers on my path. Fill and stroke, stroke style and first marker and I'm going to put first object there and at the end I'm going to put last object. Inkscape doesn't show it but it's there so trust me. And in the middle I'm going to put middle part. So there's almost there. You can see that we have start and and kind of middle is missing. So we have to fix that by going into path effects panel and adding new effects. Look for roughen and edit and turn off the shifting notes. Change this to, to react and add more clones until this fills out our strokes so in this case let's try eight like if you put too many clones it's going to be very slow so try to find balance between number of steps and acceptable performance now this is mostly done only thing which is missing is uh, that our beginning and end it's kind of offset it. We can fix that by going back into style and the first marker and just offset it until it fits perfectly. So we can just do this and same for the ends. And basically that's it. You can move it and it's still not stretching and you can change the stroke size and it's going to scale up and work perfectly. And cool thing about this is that we can still edit this so if I change my mind and I want this to be shaded so let's add 
color here and let's make this a little darker it's still connected and you can change it we can even update the shape and it still works out perfectly there is lots of more use cases and I'm going to show it what else you can do with this. In this example I'm using spray can which is kind of the same idea as a pencil but like with the different parts so you should be always thinking that your middle part needs to be loopable so if you put a few of them after each other they look seamlessly but you can do more interesting stuff so for example you can use this flower put the head as a start this grass at the end and these leaves as the middle parts and also cool thing about this is that you can use even bitmaps as the markers and it still works perfectly so you can see this is bitmap example of that so i hope this was useful have fun